Howdy, I've been looking at uh, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, which is the longest uh, bridge in the world, and it's in Louisiana. Uh, 24 mile long bridge, so I wanted to see how they um, worked out the curvature building this bridge, because in 24 miles um, they should have to deal with 384 feet of curvature. Um, and I even looked at a um, a documentary from Modern Marvels that uh, 45 minutes long, but they finally got to the point, and it was this. They uh, threw this up um, as they were going to a commercial, and it was 35 minutes in, so I barely caught it. But it's this is what they're to compensate for the curvature of the earth the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway was built roughly two inches longer than the distance it spans two inches <laughs> for 384 feet um, then I just started checking out some other bridges this is the um, top ten bridges uh, our top ten longest bridges you can see it's not far behind Lake Pontchartrain, the next one. And there's, you know, they're all above 100 so far now, just dipping under. And then, um, yeah, look at this one. <laughs> um, this one, Lisbon's Vasco da Gama Bridge, is. 56,381 feet, 10.7 miles. Um, so that is 76 feet of curvature that you should see. 76 feet of drop. So that's about a fifth of what the Lake Pontchartrain drop is, 384. So if Lake Pontchartrain just had to use two inches of extra road, <laughs> these guys probably didn't have to use hardly any to cover that whole 76 feet of drop. And I thought I'd show you guys how I'm figuring out um, how much curvature we should be seeing. Um, so in the first mile you get 8 inches of drop. So for the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway um, I'll take 24 squared um, times that 8 inches and then you can divide it by 12 to get your feet and that's 384 feet of curvature that they should have to deal with but they only had to add 2 inches of road for that so okay that's been explained um, now back to work thanks for tuning in